So I've been pretty quiet recently when it comes to Xbox Series X news and PlayStation 5 news, but it is factually correct to say that PlayStation 4 absolutely smashed the most recent Xbox. And it, it's going to keep going that way on the next platform, on the PS5, and on the Xbox Series X, because gaming isn't seeming to change. Although, objectively, both companies are trying to make it change. Xbox with Game Pass, but what can you do with a platform when it's got no games? You give them all games for free, basically, because you can get it down to at least £1 a month for the first month. Whereas PS4 has multiple AAA bangers. And yes, it's not just about AAA bangers, but it, it kind of is. This year alone, we've had Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us 2, so many exclusives when it comes to the PlayStation. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any videos. We do pop culture based videos all week long, Marvel, DC, video game, movies, and all that kind of good stuff. So I had the Xbox 360, and at one point that was my primary console. But let's be honest, and it's not going to change with Xbox events tomorrow. I don't really favor any. I just favor good games at the moment. I guess Nintendo Switch is my favorite platform, but Gears of War and Halo, outside of these two games, they don't really have any fire. Yes, I know what you're going to say, Fable 4. Guys, I've been working on Fable 4 for 10 years and we've not seen it. And then you can see Hellblade 2, but then I'm like, have you played Hellblade 1 that was multi-platform? Most people on Xbox are like, no, we haven't. We will play Hellblade, Hellblade 2, but you haven't played Hellboy 1. Hellblade 1, sorry. So, so it is kind of interesting. So... There was an article that went back, went about Xbox boss takes shots at PlayStation 5 exclusive saying fans won't be forced into next generation because you've got no games to force them into it. So it is kind of ridiculous what Mr. Phil Sabenza from Microsoft Games is saying. Really, when you think about it, he's essentially saying that PlayStation 4 smashed us last series. They really did smash us. Even though you can bring all your games from the last generation into the new generation, we're going to let you play all the video games you can on the old generation. So it's like what? It's all like they're already admitting defeat, realistically. So Xbox boss Phil Spencer has continued his assault on Sony and PlayStation 5's strategy, saying fans won't be forced into next generation, and Microsoft commits continuing to support Xbox One. Unlike others, we believe that your investment in gaming should move with you into next generation. Okay, but th that line there doesn't even make comprehensive sense. Investment into gaming should move into the next generation. Okay, so, so you're making next-gen games that are meant to be utilized in ray tracing, the SSDs and everything, but you, you want to put, like, Hellblade 2 the next Gears of War game and, you know, the next Halo game on the older Xbox. See, I, I find that really weird. Now, it's not that I favor. Like I said, guys, I've got every platform there is. PC obviously destroys any console regardless. It's just interesting what he says. We won't force you to buy the next console. Um, it, is, it is pretty interesting because the power of the console is one thing xbox one x is more powerful but if you don't have an array of games then it absolutely means nothing and there's nothing wrong with a company wanting you to buy a new device apple does this every single year samsung does it every single year there's a new 4k ultra hd tv that comes out then it's an 8k tv then there's a new gaming monitor then there's a new headset then there's a new microphone it's just new hardware to run something better than the current version you have. So there is this narrative that they will only be supporting the old Xbox for one year. But from what Mr. Spencer seems to be saying, it seems like they're going to be supporting it for like two years. So it's almost like they're admitting defeat in the console war already. Not that it is a console war, but competition is healthy. You know, without competition, what would there be? 
So I know Xbox has their big gaming event tomorrow, and I really hope it is good for Xbox gamers because let's be honest, they had no exclusive this whole year. This sorry, this whole generation. Now I know people will say you're a fanboy. Yes, we have. We had a Gears of War. We had a Halo. Okay, that's it. There's no God of War level games, no Horizon Zero Dawn, there's no Last of Us 2, there's no Ghost of Tsushima. I could go on, there's no Ratchet and Clank, there's no big AAA bangers. Consoles are sold on exclusive titles. Now, that's pretty much why the game pass is there, because they don't really have any games. Now, it's this line here that really makes me, makes me laugh. Microsoft... Meanwhile, it's adopting a different approach with Xbox Series X, with its Game Pass subscription taking central stage. It continued to release first-party titles on the aging Xbox One for a year at least, locking games to a particular piece of hardware, according to boss Phil Spencer, is completer, completely counter to what game's about. No, not really. They're called next-generation games. Now, why do they want to bring next generation games into the previous generation? If a game's been optimized to use ray tracing, have the SSD fast loading time, and have literally everything running smoother, looking better, higher graphics card, better graphics card, better GPU, better CPU, then why would you make a weaker version of a video game? I know what you're going to say. PC's done that for years, but a console is not a PC. And I don't understand why most people are like, but a console is a PC. No, a console is not a PC. You cannot, you won't be able to do this on either the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. You won't be able to edit a YouTube video. You won't be able to get Adobe Photoshop. You won't be able to make video games like you could on a PC. So it is interesting. Now, I know what some people will say in the comment section, but Xbox have bought so many studios, but they've not shown anything yet. Now, I know what they're going to say tomorrow they're going to drop a lot of games what i'm saying so far is at the moment xbox has already lost this console generation based on the last generation because there is no unique selling point here gears of war halo they just don't bang anymore forza i mean yeah it's cool but there's no different games and i know what some x bots will say they will say the following statement but the PlayStation's only got RPG shooters or something like that. But you got to understand the biggest games in the world, they're not even PlayStation or Xbox games. Biggest games in the world, World of Warcraft, Fortnite. Okay, Minecraft is, I mean, technically they bought it, but they didn't make it themselves. So the biggest games in the world, they're not even the most graphical games in the world. Warzone, I mean, it's not that graphically intense. So when it comes down to what game does the best, I mean... Epic Games that owns Fortnite, they, they pretty much smash it. So I feel like they've already lost the next generation. And the only, I guess you could say, chance they has in the next generation is if they come out with Fable. Everyone keeps harping on about Hellblade 2. But have you played Hellblade 1? And it is interesting how people will keep saying, yeah, but PC, they make PC games with loads of different specs, but it's a PC, bro. It's not an Xbox or PlayStation. It's a PC. So I feel like Phil Spencer's comments are very anti-consumer, anti-gaming to say, PlayStation, you you, you make you, you mean you're making games for, for a PS5 that you can't play on PS4? Why would you do? Oh, right, because it's a PS5 game. Oh, that's why you would do it. It's almost like they're like already saying, we've lost, guys. So we're just going to make every game available on every console to boost up the Game Pass. Game Pass is pretty much the only decent thing they've got going. And I know a lot of people say, but was you, you're a fanboy. No, I'm not. If God of War was on Xbox, I'd play it. If, if they had something like Spider-Man PS4, I'd play it. But the truth of the matter is they don't. They've got nothing like Ratchet and Clank. Literally nothing. So like always, guys, let me know. Have Xbox already lost the console war? And there is a console war. It doesn't matter what Phil Spencer from Microsoft says. There is a console war. Now, the only thing I guess the Xbox could do would be to buy Warner Bros. Gaming, which it's pretty much being debunked that they're not, so to speak. So let me know down below, guys. What are your comments about this? What are your thoughts? Do you think there is a console war? Because, guys, there is a console war. It's like there's a, a Apple versus Samsung war in every single 
consumer electrical item every item in the world there's always a war between which company you go for the same with ca cameras do you do you get a sam do you get a, a canon camera do you get a sony camera there is always a war so like always guys let me know what you think down below i, I think xbox's biggest problem going into next generation isn't actually lack of games it's the lack of kind of yeah you can only play these games on our new console rather than playing on every single console we've ever released so it speaks like always guys please like subscribe and come out catch you in another video very soon catch you later.